the airport right now. We're getting ready to go through the main checkpoint. Um, yeah, I don't know, it's early in the morning, so I'm a little everywhere. 5.29, our flight starts boarding at 6.45, so we're right on time. And we're about to go through the TSA. Yeah, so we're excited. We can't wait to get home. Right. So we all the way down here, y'all. Here, hold that. Don't drop the camera, buddy. All right. I don't know. 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 Look at all of this. We're gonna be here for a minute. I don't even know if it's moving. Okay, so we just um, went through these security checkpoints and now we're trying to find our gate D1. I think we're a little lost, but oh, excuse me. I'm always a little lost. International baggage claim. I don't know. I think we're this way. I hope this is the right thing. This says Delta Sun. What? We're not Delta. We're not flying Delta. Excuse me. Excuse me. Do you know where D1 is? Oh, yeah. Hey. Okay. <laughs> um, D1. D1. Is, you have to get on the train. Okay. Okay. <laughs> They just sell makeup at the airport you I don't need any I have enough but just in case like you ever lose all your makeup they have like a makeup vending machine I know it's all one brand but that's better than nothing at all so I thought that was cool We made it to our seats. Are you excited? Oh, we're headed to California. Go Hopefully she get, she get here. I don't know. I don't know if they're on the same flight as us. Be careful with that laptop thing. Oh, it's hot as heck on this flight. I don't know what's going on. It's normally 
freezing on airplanes, but today it's been so hot in the airport, it's so hot. I don't know if I'm going through the change, like menopause or what, but I am burning right now. I'm about to come out of these jackets. <laughs> Whatever. How are you feeling? So we are getting off the plane. Bye. We finally made it. Bye. Bye. Thanks again. So yeah, we're home. It's official. We're in California. <laughs> All you gotta do now is get home. Get home. It feels so good to be like back in Cali. We've been in Atlanta for three months and almost four months. Almost four months. But we are not Georgia people. We are definitely Californians. What do you think? You're so excited. <laughs> We're definitely California people. We're just like super excited to see the fam and everyone. Like super excited for like the events that are gonna happen over the weekend. Even though he he bursted out in tears. He's not lying. I told him I was trying to hold off and keep it a surprise, but. I couldn't hold it any longer. He was missing home so much, so I just told him. I bought tickets for us to come home, and he just hugged me for so long. He was like, thanks, mom, thanks, mom. So, we're just happy to be home. We're happy to see the fam. We're happy for all these events that are gonna be going taking place this weekend. It's literally just a weekend trip for us, but it means a lot just to be here for the weekend. So. We're gonna go pick up our bag and I have to use the restroom. I hate using bathrooms on the plane. It's okay, we're gonna get our bag first. But I hate using um, the restrooms on planes. It just reminds me of a porta potty and I never use porta potties either. It's just not my thing. So, yeah. Excuse me. There we go, Stink. Hey. Hey. He can't hear me because he has the headphones on. Let's go. Okay, so. We picked up our suitcase. Now we are headed to the BART um, so we can catch the train to my mom's because no one is coming to pick us up and I don't want to Uber. So I'm just gonna catch the BART, which hella sucks because it's gonna be like an hour ride, but what else? So that's what we're doing. Oh gosh, we do have a branch of white and a lot of people are going to be like, yeah, I'm like, we go So So here's our train station. Well, ours is called BART, which is just like the MARTA back at home in Georgia. So I'm kind of used to already like taking like the public train because we have one here in California. So that was an easy transition for me. So you guys, my big mama just came through the door. Huh? That bag? Oh, the green shoes? Yeah, those mine. <laughs> there go my big mama, y'all, and my grandma. Grandma Yaya, she just came in too. They literally just walked through the door. They have been came in from Fresno. We all came in today and then she's getting her hair done for the wedding. She had the hairstylist come to her house and get her hair done. And these two kids. 
They're here. They missed each other. They're sitting here back together again and doing what they do best playing video games. So, the game. So, Grandma just got back. Well, not just back, but she got us this refrigerator magnet is from Alaska clearly because she went well watching she went on a cruise and she went well watching she did hella stuff she went to Canada too and she got me this oh I love the crystal yeah she got me this and she got Khalil cool socks look at these socks they're Alaska they're nice and thick and warm yeah. So she got those for the boys. They got socks. And I got a crystal necklace. Woo! It is a medicine stone jewel. And I'll read it to you guys. I already read it to Snapchat, but I'm going to read it to you guys. It says, this is the most versatile healing stone among all crystals. Crystal quartz, also called clear quartz, is known as the stone of power, amplifying any energy or intention. It is also said to bring clarity to one's thoughts. So, I love my crystal. And... No. Well, dang, what happened to the cups and stuff? It was only one shot glass. Uh, well, you want the shot glass or well, something? See my shoes, Dylan? In my belt? You see how she just tried to take the shot glass? The honey she she got the, the honey. Out. The honey is right there. Oh, so you only one shot glass? Oh, okay. no, I got one shot glass for you and one shot glass for you. Oh, Let me see. Oh, where's mine at? Where the shot glass at? Wasn't it in your hand? No, no this that's is my honey. here. That's the shot glass. I'll give it to you, Mom. Pure honey and maple oh, syrup I blend. I don't know. I had it. I thought it was two honeys, but I don't see it. It is. It's another one. I saw it. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah I see it. So, we just got a whole bunch of gifts. She didn't show up. I didn't see either. Mom, it's only one shot glass. It's the same one. Oh. Here. And this is the pink bag. That she Look didn't want. Mom. It's oh, a cute oh bag. My. Grandma got that because she know that's her color. <laughs> yeah. This is a nice one too. I like your material with them. Uh, See. Oh, here it is. Here's oh, and then this is the magnet my mom got. I like that one. <laughs> I like that one. Wait, it's not focusing. Oh, uh, oh there we go. What's this? Shampoo? Conditioner. So that's oh, okay. my mom's magnet. Oh, and let me show y'all my bag. Life is a beach. So this is my bag my grandma got me and I like the ropes and stuff. It has like such a, um, what's that word? What do they call it? I don't know, I can't remember, but. Okay guys, I just finished. I left out of the nail shop. I was sitting in there for a while because I just got a manicure and I wanted it to dry. Um, so yeah, I just got white manicure, white toes. I know that's like my go-to. Um, I'm always getting my toes painted white. If I do anything, my toes are forever going to be white. Uh, and lately I've just been liking that for my nails as well. I don't know. That's just like my go-to. Simple, you know, classic. So, that's what I got done. Um, now I'm hungry, but I don't know what I wanna eat. Oh, let me put my seatbelt on. Actually, I'm about to go to Starbucks real quick because I really want a refresher. So I might actually get me a croissant. Eh. Um, so, yeah, that's what I'm about to do too. I'm gonna go through the drive-thru too because I really don't feel like waiting that long. So I'm gonna go get me um, a croissant and a very, very refresher. Oh, but let me tell y'all, this is what I hate about going to certain places and spending my money with certain people. I went to the first nail shop, which was Ladybug in Pittsburgh, California. If y'all know what I'm talking about, don't ever go there. They're extremely rude and they treat black people like crap. And I'm not one to be like, oh, somebody's a racist like that. Like, that's like not my thing. But those people are hella racist. And point example, I came in, they told me it was gonna be a 15 minute wait. 
I said, okay, no, I'll, I'll, I'll wait. I'll do that. I, I, I could do that. Um, so then two people came in after me and they were of Caucasian descent and um, they told them the same thing, 15, 20 minute wait. So they didn't want to do that wait, which is understandable. Everybody doesn't have to wait, but so they left. They ran after the people and were like, no, no, come back, come back, come back. And literally set them in the chair. Um, so me being me, uh, how these people get in this chair before me and I came in here before them? Oh, they couldn't answer no question. I don't understand, I don't. You don't understand, fuck you bitches. I'm not about to give y'all my money, I'ma leave. And I went right on up the street, right across the street, uh, right it, next door basically. And I had the best experience ever. The lady was really nice. We talked about weddings because her son just got married and I was telling her that I'm uh, my cousin is getting married and she showed me some beautiful wedding pictures and just uh, was telling me that they're gonna have the, another ceremony um, in Vietnam. Um, where all their family is so she was like the tickets cost like seven thousand dollars you know she was just really nice really sweet uh just the experience that i was looking for when i went over to ladybugs and they are called my nails so if you know where that's at check them out i like them um my lips are hella dry sorry y'all uh so yeah i that's what i did i got everything done like i said white toes white uh manicure now i'm about to go to Starbucks right up here and get my drink and my croissant and yeah I just wanted to show y'all what I got done for my uh damn the drive through line is super long I don't feel like waiting though I mean I don't feel like going in but do I want to wait low key I do <laughs> I'm just a huge person that's like I'm just big on like great customer service and I think it mostly has something to do with because I am a massage therapist like customer service is key to me that's how you get your tips that's how people come back to you that's how you bring in your clientele so for me customer service is like really key so for the people like that to be rude when you're spending your hard on coin that you work for and they want to treat you like you're a peasant or you beneath them or something like that I, I don't I don't do well with that type of stuff so I left out of there um, and I'm really happy with my nails even though it's just like a pain manicure but I was happy with her advice too because I was telling her like oh when I go back home to Atlanta that I wanted to get a, a full set you know the acrylic nails she said no no you have beautiful nails you have beautiful nails don't do acrylic it's gonna mess your nails up so I was on the fence going back and forth with uh, getting acrylic anyway and after she said that I just I guess I'm okay with just having like a regular manicure I don't really need it I feel like normally I'm like oh my hands look like so boyish so manly without nails but they look really cute when I just get them painted so I'm just gonna keep getting them painted and I'll just do um, um can I get the a very very refresher I want light ice and can I get the uh Five. venti one? Okay. I think I want a croissant. Okay, so the venti variable is just light ice is gonna come out to four twenty five, thank you. Uh, I I wanted a croissant too. Oh, what kind of croissant? Uh just a buttered croissant. Okay, anything else? That's it. Alright, six seventy, thank you. Thank you. Um but they look cute too. I still look womanly when they're painted. So, yeah. Yeah. No, I want to take 
like the, I want to get in too. You see this outfit? Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So today is just, I was probably more nervous than he was because, I mean, this, it's been a long day coming, you know. And Violet, I, I, I don't think he could have met a perfect draw for him. Yeah. You know, they say, you know, you need a brother. This is an old cliche. Me and my wife and a couple of my cousins, we like to go to a place and listen to some live music. So, and we always do this about two times, just two, three times a year. So Bob called me and said, I'm thinking about bringing a friend. A friend? <laughs>